And by now, all of you should know that I'm a huge fan of Mezco Toys' 112 Collective line. And last year in November, I got the following. The truly awesome 112 Phantom Knight Duck Nocturnal. And if you know me, then you know this figure is right up my alley. Now, a few months after I received and even reviewed that Doc Nocturnal figure, in February of this year, I received the following. The Doc Nocturnal Phantom Knights official membership kit. Now this box had a lot of cool stuff in it. A certificate, you could put your name on and be an honorary Phantom Knight. You could get Doc Nocturnal's ring. There was even some glasses where you could look into the metaphysical world that Doc Nocturnal fights evil in. And you know what? That's some truly awesome stuff. Now I'm not going to be reviewing this whole kit. I'm just going to be reviewing one thing that came inside of this box. Because, like I said, I received that official membership kit way back in February. Now, I'd intended on reviewing the whole thing, but it's been so long, you know, a lot of other people have already reviewed it, so it's kind of pointless to review the whole box set. But like I said, I do want to show off one item that came in the box. And the reason why I'm only showing off that one item and why it took so long is because I had to buy something to go along with it. But enough of that. Let's go gaze into the metaphysical realm and check it out, shall we? Today's review will be on the Mezco Toys Duck Nocturnal Phantom Knights Van Helsing Voppenkeimer Accessory Pack. And what an accessory pack it is. Now this is a little box, but they've crammed a lot of goodness inside here. Looking at the back of the box, it says Van Helsing Voppenkeimer. Vampire Eradication Armament to be employed against the legions of the undead, vested by the Helsing and imbued with ancient magic, to be used with extreme caution. We'll forget we saw that and just use it however we want. But yeah, man, I've had this for a long time, and what you do is... You take your Doc Nocturnal figure, add this accessory pack, swap out a few parts, and you end up with a whole nother character. Van Helsing Vappenkeimer, Vampire Hunter. And that is awesome. So let's look inside this box and see what's in there. You get one plastic tray with 12 accessories. Wait a minute. One? 12? I see what you did there, Mezco. Well, let's look at these accessories, shall we? You get six of these Helsing Crucifix Stakes. Even though it's not really a crucifix, it's got a skull there, unless that skull's Jesus. I don't know, but you know what? These are awesome, and yes, they are super pointy. And it is worth noting that they look identical on the other side. That's awesome. They didn't need to do that. It could have just been flat. Next up is this crossbody harness for the Crucifix Stakes. Even though they're just crosses, but okay. Then you get this really awesome head. Check that out. Now that's called the head with protective crucifix insignia. Again, it's just a cross. They keep using the word crucifix. I don't think it means what you think it means. Because the word crucifix comes from the Latin crucifixus, which means one fixed to a cross. So yeah, that's just a cross. There's no one fixed to the cross. Just like those stakes, it's just a skull on it. But you know what? I'll forgive him because this cross here glows in the friggin' dark, and man, that is awesome! You can call them crucifixes all you want, Mezco. That is so cool. Although, if I had one small complaint, I wish they'd have put some of that glow-in-the-dark paint on his eyes. Man, that would have made this figure so much better, but honestly, this is good enough. Also included are two of these Kakri knives, and man, that is awesome. And you know what? You can always store one in this added sheath as well. Last up is this wrist-mounted crossbow, and that looks 
awesome. I love the little added extra arrow sticking out of there. That is so cool. Now, you take all of those accessories there, add them to your Doc Nocturnal figure, and you end up with a totally new character. And that is why it's taking me so long to get to this review. Because, like I said, I absolutely love this Doc Nocturnal figure, and there was no way I was going to use this. Because once you start swapping out parts, well, you don't really have Doc Nocturnal anymore. I mean, I guess you can pretend he's dressed up as Van Helsing Boppenkeimer, but if you want this skull face hero, you kind of got to leave him the way he is. Now, with the vastness of the internet, you can always pick up a loose Doc Nocturnal body and put whatever head you want on it, but my intention was to get a whole nother Doc Nocturnal set. So I got on the wait list on Mezco's site, and of course, months later, it sells out and I'm not able to get one. So I had to track down a loose body. Now, I wasn't able to get the whole figure. I just got, you know, the loose body, right, like that, and his uh, belt and stuff. But I wasn't able to get like his cape. But I have kind of another idea that I want to try. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. But you know what? Enough of that. I say we gear up Mr. Van Helsing Voppenkeimer and check him out. So here's Van Helsing Voppenkeimer all put together. And man, this figure looks awesome. Now, I'm not going to claim it was easy to put him together. But this figure was definitely worth the time it took to get him and the effort to put him together. This is so cool. Now, starting up here at the head, you've got the really awesome Van Helsing head there with the cross on the forehead. And that hood goes over that head perfectly. I love the fact that the hood is not attached to the cape. It's actually attached to Doc Nocturnal's shirt or whatever. That's really cool because I would have loved to have gotten the cape, but I, I'm very happy to just have the hood. Now, since I didn't have the cape, you may notice that I used an accessory that came with Doc Nocturnal that I really like, and that's the Death Ray with the tanks on his back and stuff. And I really loved this, and I wanted to use it with my uh, Doc Nocturnal figure, but in order to use it, you got to take off the uh, cape. And I really like the cape, so I left that on there. And I thought, hey, if I get a loose figure, maybe I can use the tanks on this. And I wondered if I could get the strap, as you can see there, that holds the crosses on the front to go underneath the tanks. And you know what? It wasn't easy, but it did work. Now, looking at the crosses on the front here, if I can keep them from falling over, and you can see I've only got two on there. And uh, you can put more, but, you know, they kind of bump into his chin if you're not careful. Or since I've got the straps there, it kind of, you know, sticks out a little bit. And I've kind of got them overlapping as it is. But I thought that looks pretty cool. Plus, it kind of covers up the uh, Doc Nocturnal logo that's on his chest which makes him look like a, a you know a totally different character although he's still got the logo down there on his little wristwatch thing down here at his belt you can see he's got that little knife sheath and that went on there really well holds the knife perfectly i've got him holding the death ray in his right arm which means he's got to be a lefty when it comes to holding this little uh a little crossbow thing. He's supposed to be holding it in his right hand, but it's kind of weird because the arrows kind of are on the right side for the left side, which makes no sense. But you know what? I think it looks pretty good like that. But yeah, I'd say this figure looks pretty cool indeed. And I'm very, very, very happy with it. And as similar as they are now with their outfits and stuff, I love the fact that he still looks different enough, or at least like he's... You know, he's part of the Phantom Knights. They probably all dress the same anyways. This looks so cool and exactly what I wanted on my shelf. That is awesome. So yeah, after having this figure set just sitting here since February and wanting it even longer than before that, man, I am so happy to finally have it all put together and I am very, very happy with it. Would I have liked to have his cape? Yeah, but then he'd look like Doc Nocturnal a little too much and plus I got to use the Death Ray tanks or whatever on his back with that cool gun there. That is so cool indeed, man. I am so, so happy with it, and he looks awesome. And he's definitely a great addition to my Mezco shelf. Man, I cannot believe I have all of these figures, and I love them all. And you know what? If you can get your hands on any of these, especially this set, definitely get it. Now, you're going to need a Doc Nocturnal to complete the look, but you know what? He's worth it, and man, he's awesome. So, there's my review of the Mezco 112 Doc Nocturnal Phantom Knights official membership kit, Van Helsing Voppenkeimer accessory pack. And man, he looks so good all put together. You know what? 
It took me forever to finally get the body to put on this guy, but I am so glad I finally did because he looks so good. And honestly, if you try to get this figure, you can probably get the accessory pack a little bit easier than you can the body because, man, these Doc Nocturnal figures are really expensive. And if you're trying to get a good deal, blah, 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 it's going to take you a while. But you know what? I couldn't recommend this one more. And I am very happy with the fact that he looks different enough on the shelf. You know, him and Doc Nocturnal aren't looking at each other like, hey, hey, why'd you wear the same outfit I did to this party, man? That's rude. Anyways, I love the fact that they look different enough, and I finally got to use that death ray. So, until next time, tune in for more full reviews. <laughs> yeah, she was in great pain. Then we cut off her head and drove a stake through her heart and burned it, and then she found peace. Doctor! Please. Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss full reviews. And I'm out!